Hi everyone, today we are going to solve the lead code question linked list circle 2. So a few months ago, uh, actually I solved the linked list circle 1. So I put the link in the description below. So today, so you are given a head of a linked list, return the node where the circle begins. If there is no circle, uh, return node. There is a circle uh, in linked list if there is some node in the list that can be reached again by continuously following the next pointer. Internally, uh, pos is used to denote uh, the index of the node that tails next pointer is connected to uh, zero indexed. It is minus one if there is no circle. Note that pos is not passed as a, as a parameter, so do not modify the linked list. So let's see the example. So you are given 3, 2, 0, minus 4. And uh, uh, output is tail connected to node 1 index. So we should return this node as an output, I think. And uh, yeah, uh, actually, this question is more like a mathematics um, exercise rather than like an algorithm. So let me explain how to solve this question. Okay, so let me explain with this example, 3, 2, 0, 4. And uh, we have a, a circle from like 4 to 2. And uh, first of all, um, let's see how we can uh, confirm we have like a circle. Actually, this is a linked list circle 1, exact same as a linked list, uh, linked list circle 1. So we are prepared to have two pointers. One is a fast pointer and the, the other is a slow pointer. And uh, every time first pointer move twice and the slow pointer move once. So let's begin. So now first pointer move twice. So one, two here. And then slow pointer move once here. Then um, again, first pointer move twice, one and the circle two here. And the slow pointer move once here. And then first pointer move twice here and then uh, slow pointer move once here and then uh, two pointer meet uh, at node 4 so in that case uh, we definitely sure uh, this linked list has circle so that's how uh, we confirm that we have a circle uh, in the linked list okay so it's time for uh, mathematics <laughs> and uh, before that um, so I put A, B, C. So between head and uh, uh, circle start node, so let's call the node uh, start node. So between head and uh, start node, this distance uh, we call A distance. So between start node and the last node, uh, this distance, so we call B distance. And uh, between last node to uh, start node, we call this distance uh, C distance. Okay, and uh, let's think about uh, fast um, distance for fast pointer and the slow pointer. And the slow pointer is moving like a, from head to last here. So that means slow uh, distance for slow pointer should be A plus B, right? For uh, first pointer, so first pointer move twice every time, and then go through the circle, and then meet the last uh, meet the slow pointer at last index. That means a plus b plus c plus b, right? And then uh, remember the slow pointer move once and the fast pointer move twice. That means fast pointer moving twice compared with um, slow pointer. So if we multiply two for distance as uh, slow pointer distance, that means this, these two distances are equal. And uh, we need to calculate uh, this simple um, 
uh, formula. So that means, so 2a plus 2b equal a, b, c, d, uh, a, b, c, b. And then, so let's, uh, let's collect a on the left side. So move a on to left side. That means a equal, so we move 2b to right side. That means um, we remove 2b. So only c left on the right side. So we get the a equals c. So what does this answer mean? So we make sure uh, distance a and the distance c are equal. And uh, now first pointer and the slow pointer is at last index. So okay, uh, in this case, we can choose one of them. So we choose first pointer. So first pointer, uh, e, so we reset the first pointer and uh, um, start from head. So first pointer is now here. And the uh, slow pointer stay at the last index. So we know that uh, a distance a is equal to distance c. So in that case, if we move uh, fast pointer, slow pointer um, once at the same time, uh, in some point, um, fast pointer and the slow pointer definitely meet um, like a start point. So that is the answer node we need to find, right? So in that case, uh, first pointer move once and uh, reach node two. And the slow pointer is now last index. So if move once, so slow pointer goes through the circle and uh, reach two. Now first pointer, slow pointer meet at uh, node two. That means uh, definitely uh, this node is like a start node. So we should return this node. Uh, I mean, fast or fast no, uh, fast pointer or slow pointer. Yeah, that is a basic idea to solve this question. So with that being said, let's get, it, get into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, uh, if not head, just return none. And then after that, um, prepare two pointer, first pointer initialized with head and the slow pointer also initialized with head and uh, start looping so while two that's a, that is a, like an infinity loop if not fast pointer or not uh, fast dot next in that case uh, we don't have a circle so just return on if if not the case um, update fast pointer to fast next next and the slow pointer equals slow dot next and uh, after that, if fast pointer meet slow pointer, in the case uh, we break the uh, while loop. So after that, uh, we know that um, so a distance a and the distance c are equal. So I choose fast pointer and uh, um, update the fast pointer with head. Um, so fast equal head. After that, um, while fast pointer is not slow pointer, so we move uh, both two pointers until uh, two pointer meet at some point. So fast pointer equal fast dot next, and the slow pointer equal slow dot next, and then after that return uh, fast pointer. So yeah, that's it. Let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. Um, time complexity of this solution should be uh, order of n. And uh, space complexity, um, I think we don't use uh, extra memory and data structure, so I think one. So let me summarize the step-by-step -step algorithm. This is a step-by-step -step algorithm of linked list circle 2. Step 1, initialize a fast pointer and a slow pointer with head. Step 2, start looping. 
uh, step one, if first pointer is no or first dot next is no, return no. Step two, update first pointer with first dot next and dot next, and I mean move twice. And as the throw pointer with throw dot next, move once. Step three, if two pointers meet each other, then break the loop. Step three, update first pointer with head. Step four, move first pointer and throw pointer one by one, and when the two pointer meet somewhere, that is a node we need to find. Yeah, that's it. I hope this video helps you understand this question well. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.